In today's session of CCNA series, I'll discuss about LLDP, also known as Link Layer Discovery Protocol. LLDP is a layer to neighbor discovery protocol similar to Cisco CDP. It is defined in IEEE standard as 802.1 AB. The LLDP protocol collects information about local interfaces, sends this information to neighbors and receives information from the neighbors as well. It standardizes methods for network devices to advertise themselves to other system and to store discovered information. It allows network devices to advertise capabilities, identity and other information onto a LAN. Devices on LAN then store this received data in Management Information Database or MIB MIPS, which in turn help the network management system or NMS to build the topology of the network by querying those databases using SNMP. LLDP enabled devices use set of attributes to discover neighbor devices. These attributes are referred to as TLVs. LLDP supported devices use TLVs to send and receive information uh, to their directly connected neighbors. So TLVs are, uh, I mean LLDP TLVs are classified into two types. Mandatory TLV and optional TLV. Let's have a look at different TLVs that we have. In mandatory TLV we have end of LLD, PDU, chassis ID, TLV which is nothing but the identifier of the chassis where the chassis ID subtype is a MAC address. We also have port ID TLV which is the identifier of the port and time to leave TLV. Then in optional TLVs we have port description TLV which is nothing but port and name description a port name and description then we have system uh, name TLV which is nothing but the name of the device then we have system description TLV which is the description of the device in alphanumeric format then we have system capabilities TLV which is the which 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 tell you the primary function of the device such as bridge or whether it's a bridge or a router here the switch is referred to as bridge and then we have management address TLV which is nothing but the IP management address of the device LLDP PDU or protocol data units are sent inside an Ethernet frame as shown on the top right and are identified by the destination MAC address. The address is 0180C200000E and also the Ether type that is 0x8CC. LLDP operate in three different modes. Transmit only. Here in the topology you see we are referring only to the left router. So uh, in this mode, transmit only mode, LLDP transmit LLDP packets but do not process any received packets. The second mode is receive only mode. So opposite uh, in this mode, uh, the process, I mean uh, the device processes received LLDP packets but do not send LLDP packets and the third mode is both transmit and receive where the device perform both transmit and receive LLDP packet processing. Then let's look at LLDP timers. There are three different timers in LLDP starting with re-init time. So when an LLDP is initialized on any device or any, any interface there is a delay time and that uh, is that this default to two seconds then we have LLDP packet frequency timer so it is an interval at which the device sends an LLDP update to the neighbor and the default is 30 seconds then we have hold time it is a duration that a receiving device should maintain LLDP neighbor information before aging it out if the timer expires and no LLDP packet being received the neighbor information is wiped out and it defaults uh, to 120 seconds. The LLDP protocol has an extension called LLDP MED and uh, it is abbreviated as LLDP Media Endpoint Discovery. 
It operates between endpoint devices such as IP phones and network devices such as switches. It specifically provides supports for support for voice over application and provides additional TLVs. So LLDP MET support uh, below TLVs such as LLDP MET capabilities TLV, network policy TLV, power management TLV, inventory management TLV and location TLV. Let's go ahead and do some configuration and uh, some verify using some show commands. So I'll be uh, using this topology where I have two routers and two switches. LLDP has a similar configuration and practically identical show command as compared with CDP. So let's go ahead and hop onto the switch. LLDP is disabled by default on Cisco devices. And you can verify it by using show LLDP command. Here you can see it says LLDP is not enabled. So to, to enable it globally use LLDP run command. So you have to get into the global config mode and then type LLDP run. So this will enable uh, LLDP globally. So you can verify the same again using show LLDP command. Here you can see it is showing LLDP as active. So uh, now we have enabled LLDP. We can verify it using uh, show LLDP neighbor command, but we need to enable it on another device as well. Here you can see LLDP is disabled as well. Yeah. LLDP run. So let's go ahead and verify if it has form a neighborship. There we go. Here you can see LLDP has form a neighborship with the neighboring device. Here you can see uh, in this output it displays some important details such as device ID, uh, which is nothing but the neighbor device host name so the router to which it is connected is r1 it also displays the local interface which is nothing but the interface on which your neighbor is connected to then we have a hold time which is by default 120 second then we have capability which is like the type of the device since it is connected to router it will show it as r we also have port id which is nothing but the neighboring device interface. So it is connected to gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 of the router. Okay, so uh, if you want to have more detail about this, if you want to know more details, then you can use the command show LLDP neighbor detail. So this will give you some extra information such as Cisco IOS software of the neighboring device. So what is this? What are the system capability and what are the enabled capabilities? What are the physium, physical media capabilities? And uh, what, are, what is the management address configured? Since it is not configured, it will, uh, it will not advertise anything. Uh, the another command we have is as, as I have uh, said earlier, LDP operates in three different modes. So let's go ahead and configure those modes on the switch or a router. So if you remember, the, the three different modes were transmit only, receive only, and transmit and receive both. So when you enable LLDP globally, it will do both transmit and receive and if you want to limit it to transmit only then uh, we need to go under the interface and configure the sub command transmit no transmit LLDP so as you can see I have logged into the router and here I will show you the neighbors okay uh, since the LLDP is not enabled on other devices, uh, it will not 
show the neighbor let me go ahead and enable it on the switch not switch sorry go and enable in the router LNDP run okay let's let me go back to that, that R1 and see if the neighbor is up here you can see okay now we have two neighbors one is going to the switch one is going to the router so here we can use that command LLDP transmit and uh, receive okay so let me log in into the router I will stop advertising my uh, LLDP info updates to the switch okay so I'll go into the local interface that is 0 slash 0 slash 0 and I'll say no LLDP transmit and I will disable the neighbor as well so it should not receive anything okay so we need to wait for 120 second to observe the neighbor going down so let's very let's go ahead and verify the configuration here you can see I have uh, disabled both receive and transmit though so this should um, take the neighbor down still not down we need to wait for 20 seconds 120 seconds meanwhile we can uh, go ahead and enable uh, LLDP on other devices as well I have already enabled it here let me go ahead and enable it on the switch I believe it's already disabled here yeah so let me go ahead and enable LLDP here and then I can see show LLDP neighbor the neighbor is up with R2 I can show you the details okay here the neighbor is up as well with both uh, R1 and switch so let's go ahead and see if the neighbor is down still up it should be up here as well we need to wait for the whole timer to get expire still up LLDP is an important tool if you are uh, working with multiple third-party vendors and if you want to prepare a topology uh, then this really helps you but uh, LLDP is not enabled on all the ports on production network because of security reasons here we go uh, after 120 seconds the neighbor which switches down which you can see in the show LLDP neighbor command only R2 is up similarly on switch since it stopped receiving LLDP packets because I have disabled it on the router interface it will make the neighbor down as well that's it for this session I hope this was uh, informative for you thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe thank you